In communicating data on migration, it is important to think about what you communicate. So do you communicate raw data, which is sometimes very difficult to understand and access? Do you build uh, a bit uh, of a sense around the data so you make it an information? Or do you create specific tools, studies, reports, where you put data and information into the right context to build the story and to inform policymakers, but also the general public, in a way that is clear to them? So we had a discussion today at a panel on communicating data on migration, and it was very interesting to listen to different challenges um, related both to the data to make sure the data is reliable, it is accurate, that um, certain uh, difficulties in producing statistics, certain limitation of statistics are presented in the right way not to undermine the credibility of the data that is produced. Also the need for peer reviews, the need to get back to the policymaker to check that data is relevant. Um, to make sure that the data is timely, so it reflects a situation which is currently actual and interesting for the policymakers and the uh, public in general. And also to make sure that you communicate in the right context, that you don't um, strip uh, data of the right context that would enable people to really listen to you when you communicate it. That was very big point, the credibility of data producers when they try to communicate because scientists are not necessarily the best communicators. How to bridge the gap between policymakers and data and statistic producers, um, how to disseminate data in a credible manner and how to be heard, it's a very big challenge. Uh, that was a very big part of our panel discussion. And uh, one important thing is collaboration, is engaging, is listening to the policymaker, making sure that they understand what their needs exactly are. Throughout the process of uh, data gathering, validation, presentation, visualization, getting back to them, checking that we still remain relevant.